there's been a school of thought that fasting breaks down muscle, that I'll lose muscle if I fast. Yeah. True or false? So it appears to break down muscle. You, you, It depends on how long you're in a fast, but it will appear as if your muscle is shrinking because it's getting rid of the stored sugar. But when you um, now bring in a high protein meal and feed it amino acids, it will grow stronger. You'll see more definition because it, it broke the sugar down, which you don't want in there. So it changes the, the shape of the muscle. Makes it more lean, I guess. It, it makes it more lean. But if you follow that up with good eating, you're going to make yourself stronger. Now, the person who decides to go into a fast breaks down muscle and doesn't follow up with good eating. Yeah, you're going to end up with less muscle. But if you follow it up with a lot of protein and you build that mTOR back up, now you're actually able to build your muscle even stronger. There's two ways to build muscle. One is through weights, lifting weights, strength training, and the other is through food, protein. So all fasting is doing is leaning it out. Okay, so just so you're, the audience knows, what we call the post-absorptive state of a human being is four hours after a meal. That means it takes that long, breaks it down all into individual parts, goes into the body, and now it is absorbed. Now at four hours, everyone now is going into a release and the nutrients are now being spun out to be able to, and see the human body is just like an amazing organism. Now it's being spun out and releasing nutrients. So you're releasing glucose to keep you alive, right? From your glycogen stores, liver's producing that because you've got to have it. Uh, fat stores for energy and so forth. This is at the four hour mark. I don't care if you're a thousand pounds or a hundred pound, sh 150 pound shredded person or a thousand pound obese, morbidly obese person. Everyone is in a, at four hours, you now become catabolic. And you start dumping amino acids because they, they are necessary to keep other body parts replacing their tissues. Now, stay with me for a minute. So when you, you would be in a catabolic state all the way until your next meal, which would include protein. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're catabolic. Remember that. You mean, your body's just dumping out stuff, taking, taking tissue apart to keep all the things working in your body. That's how you can live without food for a long time. But what happens if you never eat? You stay in the fasting state. Of course, you die. Yeah. Right. Because their body keeps dumping everything out. Now it's got nothing to live and it can't it can't do that anymore. So I don't know how long she's talking about fasting. Is there a time she's there's been a school of thought that fasting breaks down muscle, that I'll lose muscle if I fast. Yeah. True or false? So, okay, so, stop so there. it appears to break down muscle. You It does break down muscle fasting if past the four hour mark. Right. In other words, you stop eating. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then at four hours, your body goes into a catabolic state. You're, uh, so that's your fasting. That's what break fast means, right? Break the fast. Yeah. You, your last meal was at 8 o'clock at night. You get up at 6 o'clock in the morning. But at midnight, your body went into a fasting state, and you are catabolic yeah. until your next meal. And that's why we always tell everybody, break the fast first thing in the morning with protein because you're already dumping amino acids out at this particular point. Mm -hmm. So then I, she says something about sugar. Well, that's what, that's what makes me feel like she's talking about maybe for like uh, like uh, doing some sort of like water fast or something for a couple of days, you know, oh. because you're appearing to be like you don't really appear to be smaller overnight right yeah of After course sleep. yeah you wouldn't see it in the mirror so i think that's what she's kind of referring to is like a few days or something like that and wow. now you're you're looking depleted right because yeah. you haven't introduced anything and all the your... glycogen storage are gone yeah those were those were the things so that you've dumped out of your muscle that's i think yeah. it, i think it's yeah. talking about a few a days. long time yeah. fasting wow she's is he definitely she's confused or she's just not saying it right maybe she really knows something but but again if you're fasting for like a day or so there's no reason the human body is built to where it can run. We're what we call periodic eaters. For millions of years, you would go days without food. So your body's got to be able to store it and then release it to keep you alive while you're going on your next hunt, while you're going on your next thing. So, you know, again, fasting is something that you don't need to do for any reason. If she is she promoting it from a health standpoint? There's same. been a school of thought that fasting breaks down muscle, that I'll lose muscle if I fast. Yeah. Yeah. True or false? So True. it appears to break well, down muscle. You, you, It depends on how long you're in a fast, but it will appear as if your muscle is shrinking because it's getting rid of the stored sugar. But when you um, now bring in a high protein meal and feed it amino acids, it will grow stronger. You'll see more definition because it, it broke the sugar down, which you don't want in there. So it changes the, right the there. shape. Stop when she said that. She said, okay, yes, you, it, you will appear to break down muscle. Well, of course you break down. After four hours, you're breaking down muscle. Right, I Write know, it but down. I, I think this is in the context. She, she's not talking about fasting after four hours okay, or okay. after eight hours even. Okay. She's talking about a day or two. A day or two, yeah. That's, you're that's, not building yeah, muscle yeah. doing that, There's right? no point. I mean, 
if you're first of all, uh, obviously you can't be an athlete, so that's, that's one there. But if you were just a regular person and you didn't work out um, and you wanted to fast for some reason because it made you feel good, do whatever you want. But, but your muscles are going to come back stronger after. No, oh, no, no, it'll actually come back weaker. <laughs> that's what yeah, she said, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, she, uh, she I, I missed that part. No, come back stronger. But when you um, now bring in a high protein meal and feed it amino acids, it will grow stronger. You'll see more definition because it, it broke the sugar down, which you don't want in there. So it changes the, the shape of the muscle. But if you follow that up with good eating, you're gonna make yourself okay, stronger. Okay, stop there. Now the person- Okay, it makes it more lean. I mean, it changes the is shape of the muscle. she's saying after four hours and you just worked out, this is all good and fine, right? Yes, correct, but, absolutely. But it, it, I think this is after a couple of days. Okay, yeah, so that's, uh, I mean, you've, you've like lost the muscle hours. and now you just eat and the muscle all comes back. That's what she's saying, I think. And it comes back looking better. And stronger. And stronger. Okay, well, you know, she's yeah, obviously it must be uh, probably, you know, some kind of uh, smoke before she said that because that's just that's ludicrous. You know, uh, it doesn't make any sense at all. And the more you, what are you going to do it again? I mean, you fast. I mean, certainly it's going to recover some of the muscle that you lost when you put the amino acids back in. Right. But that also depends on how much you're moving. I mean, if you're not moving much and you're really tired after this, you're going to lose muscle, and it's not all going to come back. Yeah. Because now you got it, unless you're going to start weight training, you know, and so forth. So, I mean, you got to start weight training. You're going to get your protein in, you know, on a regular basis. Every day you should have the right amount of protein. We know millions of studies have proven that if you want to increase muscle and certainly maintain it in aging. Yeah. But when you fast like this, you continually fast for long periods of time, yeah. obviously you're going to, you're going to be shrinking, you know, at some point. Yeah. I mean, I've fasted for 16 hours once and, Ate yeah. a high protein meal and whatnot after, and I, that was like probably the weakest I've ever felt. Yeah, you for know? sure. Like, I mean, there's no question about that. I mean, again, there's some people that I know people that you know that enjoy fasting. You know, and I don't put them down on it, but I, well, I don't think you want to work out while you're fasting. That's yeah, for sure, because I mean, then you're going to break down the muscle ten times faster, and maybe not get it back. You know, all of it back. You're not so. a fasted workout. Like, no, like no, fasting, no, no, fasting. No, no, you know, for sure, we're talking yeah. about like where you're day or two or three some people do that's a, a yeah that's a that that makes no sense yeah. you know again that just makes no sense at all yeah.